Hey, all right, it's another Dueling Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jelen. We'll have Mike Gervin from Excel is Fun joining us. And Mike sent this question in. Uh, someone sent it in to him. I'm sorry, I don't know who sent in the question. Mike, maybe you can tell us. And look at this. We have all of this text out here in column A, and someone wants to evaluate all this stuff. Well, you know what? VBA, that's the way to go. Alt F11, insert module, sub, eval them. All right, here we go. For each cell in selection, cell dot offset. Offset says, hey, we're not going to use the cell. We're going to go somewhere. Zero rows down, one column over. Dot formula is equal to, check this out, in quotes. I'm going to put an equal sign, an ampersand, and then cell dot value. So we build a formula that takes whatever's over there in column A, puts an equal sign before it. Next cell Sweet. Come back here. Choose our values. Alt F8 to get a list of macros. Eval them. Run. Bam. We're done. And uh, just basically takes all that stuff, puts an equal sign before it. Fast way to go. All right, Mike, what have you got? Thanks, Mr. Excel. VBA. That's the way to go. One of these days, I have to get around to learning VBA. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to have to uh, use the evaluate function. But wait a second, there is no evaluate function. Yes, but there was in Excel 4, an old macro function. And you can access these old macro functions by using defined names. I'm going to click in cell B8, because my formula is going to have to have a relative cell reference using a defined name. And when you do a relative cell reference for defined names, your cursor, wherever you click, um, determines where you're going to click to tell the name manager that you're doing a relative cell reference. I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Control F3 to open the name manager and then click New. I'm going to call this name Text Math. Now I'm going to click down here and I'm going to type my formula. I'm trying to access that evaluate function equals evaluate open parentheses. And now we need a relative cell reference. Watch what happens when you click in the name uh, manager create or create name. It puts the sheet name, an explanation point, and an absolute cell reference. Just hit the F4 key three times, and then you got to get rid of all of that uh, sheet reference stuff right there including the little apostrophe. By putting an explanation point and the cell reference, and by the way, this uh, name box n knows contextually. It knows that you've selected B8. So the fact that we put A8, it doesn't really see A8 when you put this explanation point. It says one to my left, a relative cell reference. And that will work. And it will work globally anywhere in our workbook. Click OK. Click Close. Now let's try it. Equals Evaluate. Oh, I'm sorry, equals text. And there's our name, control enter. So a name has a formula, and it is calculating one cell to my left using that old evaluate function from Excel 4. Now let's just go over here and try uh, 5 times 5. And then I'm going to put equals text math. And sure enough, that's a name with a defined formula. It will calculate. Now another way to go is if you have the more func Excel add-in. There's 66 functions, and if you watch that video, I show you how to where to get it, how to download it, and how to install it. You can just use the eval. Eval is a function that comes and it evaluates uh, text um, just like that. Still, another way to do it is if you don't want to do define names, watch this. There's a keyboard shortcut to get back to Excel 4. You can insert a macro sheet that understands the evaluate function. Control F11. And it, there it says Macro 2. This is not a regular worksheet. This will understand uh, the old macro functions. I'm going to type equals evaluate. Open parentheses. And I'm going to click on my cell reference right there. And Enter. Oh, but wait a second. It's not working? That's because these sheets by default are in Show Formulas. So you have to use tilde, which is to the left of the number one, Control tilde to get back to Evaluate. Now, I probably would never use that. That's just a weird, bizarre trick to see that there's this sheet that's like from Excel 4. All right, um, we'll see you next trick.
Mike, that's brilliant. Using the, the old Excel for evaluate in a named range. I love that one. Don't learn VBA. Well, no, yeah, you should learn VBA, but uh, certainly solves this problem. Hey, I want to thank everyone for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another Dueling Excel podcast from Mr. Excel and Excel is Fun.